Shipping is crucial to the global economy and vital for getting us the stuff that we want when we want it. But few of us ever give any of this much thought. The computer or phone that you're watching this on, the clothes you're wearing, even the coffee you're drinking probably came by ship. And the container ships that carry all that around are amongst the largest vehicles ever built. But dealing with their contents is a growing challenge. Ports are running at full capacity and choke points mean delays. This enormous ship is the Maersk Essex and it can hold up to 6,500 of these regular 40 foot long containers. This is actually all holiday goods coming in for the season. And if you were to take every one of these containers off now and line them up on trucks, they would stretch 112 miles. That's the size of the problem. And 80% of these containers will be lifted off or more will be put back on at this one port alone. The Port of LA is the number one in the US by container volume. As you might guess, the lead up to the holidays and our crass consumerism makes this one of the busiest periods. A surge in containers can lead to bottlenecks and in the worst case scenario, lines of ships out at sea laden with our potential purchases. Now the Port of LA is trying something new. It's working with GE to capture as much data as possible and to share it as widely as possible. They'll create an information portal to give everyone more planning time and to hopefully make things run a little smoother. You know, typically the port terminal operators and all of the different parties in the process find out about the cargo on that ship, where it's going, what its inbound destination is about 48 hours in advance of it hitting port. You know, tomorrow with this solution, that data will be unlocked and be available about two weeks in advance of the port. A pilot program for information sharing will be run next year for around two or three months. But the hope is to prove how useful it is and, of course, keep it going. It will take everyone playing together to work, from the terminal operators to the shipping companies to the customs authorities. The Port of LA will be the first to try such an integrated system, but something like it's going to be crucial to keep our global supply chain moving.